Blood Moon of September 2015 An Interpretation of the Holy Bible What could this unique celestial event portend for the near future of the world? This lunar eclipse will prove an unique one, in four ways. 1. It will occur in the 70th jubilee year since Israel entered its promised land. 2. It will come in the last set of four blood moons for 400 years. 3. It will be visible in Israel, and will last for five hours. 4. It comes at a very dangerous moment in history, when armies surround Israel. Yahweh said, I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus taught, immediately after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, with power and great glory. There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth. Hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? Whereas Joel prophesied about the final day of the Lord, and whereas Jesus related a darkened moon to an unprecedented period of tribulation, and whereas Daniel and the book of Revelation foresee three and a half years of tribulation, and whereas the book of Revelation relates celestial signs to the wrath of God, the blood moon of September 2015 will portend neither the biblical day of the Lord, nor an immediate return of Messiah Jesus to earth. There are many prophesied events that must come upon the world, before the final blood moon and other celestial signs. Some of those include the following. Enoch and Elijah will return to earth and prophecy in Jerusalem for three and a half years. A global world order will dominate politics, economics and religion. 144,000 Israelite evangelists will preach faith in Jesus, and be martyred. An international leader will enter into the temple of God and proclaim himself God.